Digicast, search for you by Digikey and Aiden for things. Digikey, every single week, later, you use the power of engineering to help you. Yes, you find the things you want to find in the world, including parts on Digikey. Lady Aiden, what is the great search of the week this week? Okay, so this week I was messing with some LEDs, including WS2811s, which require 5 volt signal. Um, and most microcontrollers I work with nowadays only have 3.3 volt logic, and so I wanted to have a level shifter up from three to five. And we've covered that kind of part on the great search. And then I need a little uh, switch cap boost converter that will give me five volt signal, like you know 50 milliamps or so from three volt. And we covered this one on the great search as well before. Um, and so the last piece I needed is for the TM. 1814 LEDs that I looked at, I need a signal inverter because they use NeoPixel-like signaling, but it's opposite polarity. And that's extremely annoying. I'd, I'd really, you know, I don't mind all the other stuff, but the having to switch the polarity is frustrating. So I wanted to find a single gate inverter, not. And I kind of wanted to keep it this size, which is um, one inch by 0.6 inch. I wanted to, you know, have it be a very small board so people can fit it in line with their LED strips and it isn't like this enormous beast. Um, and have, the, you know, these mounting holes have a little clearance. And so the size of the inverter, um, I wouldn't be able to fit a SOT 23.5. I want it to be smaller. So um, SC75 is a package. So let me turn on the... Docu, so you can see it. So this is a SOT um, 20, 235, and people, and this is a six pin, sorry, SOT 236. And this is the SC70, and this is also an SC70. So this just, just goes to show you how big, um, she's SC70. Oops, this is, yeah, this is SC76. And this is SC75. You're wondering, like, oh, why is it a little longer? I don't know why, like, the package has the pads a little longer, but it's it's basically, you now it's just a little, maybe a little mechanically easier to solder. But these are basically the same size. A little bit, like, it, like it's kind of the kid-sized version of the SOT 23. So let's go to DigiKey. And we're going to look for inverter. Um... And of course, in, you know, the word inverter is used for like 15,000 things. So there's AC inverters, there's ballast, there's regulators, but we don't want um, power inverters. We want the gate kind of inverter. Okay. So as usual, we only want the active. So let's do that. And let's also say in stock, because we're just looking for something that's available and we're going to exclude the marketplace. So we only get stuff that's sold by DigiKey, which takes a lot of uh, new old stock out of the list. Second, um, you know, our priority was to keep it super small. We wanted to keep this board small. So like, you know, why don't you just use a SOIC 14? Cause you know, hex inverter, I don't. I want it one gate, one circuit, one input. So yeah, got rid of like all this other stuff. Now we're down to 400 different items. Um, next feature, I don't want open drains. Specifically, I want a, a push-pull output. So I'm going to deselect this, which is open drain, and this one, which is open drain. Not a lot are open drain, but like I, de you know, I don't want to make the mistake of ordering something, not noticing that it won't actually pull high. Um, and then the last thing that I that is you know specific is I have to be able to have five volt power and five volt input, because if you look here, what I am buffering, sorry, inverting, is the output of this buffer chip, which is level shifting the three volt up to five. And so this is definitely gonna be five volt logic and you know, power it for five volt. So no, no three volt, please. So I'm going to select, and I'm just option clicking, everything that covers five volts. Great, it gives me like 270. And then the final thing is, remember we said, oh, we want to do um, SC70 or smaller, basically not thought 23.5. And also I hate BGAs. Uh, so I'm going to, well, I don't hate them. I'm just, I don't want to use them. Hate's a strong word for just a package, which did nothing wrong. And a lot of people really enjoy using BGAs. 
So let's get rid of SOT23 and SOT25, which is the same thing, and SOT5, which is the same thing. Um, these DFNs are tiny, but you know, I don't care too much about them. I, I'm almost positive I'm gonna use SC70, but let's keep the rest just in case, you know, some of them surprise me. Okay, great. So let's look, a lot of options. Um, we can sort by price. You know, these look great. HC I've used, LVC I've used. Um, what do the digits mean? Um, a lot of it um, has to do with the input and output voltage, input output uh, limit, uh, um, uh, voltage limits, and the drive outputs. To be honest, I don't actually need um, high current drive. Might be even better to have a lower current drive, to be honest, because you don't want it to um, ring, and the higher the current, um, the more ringing you might have, especially with a long um, output. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. And this is a 74. Actually, I'll be honest, I don't know the difference between a 70 and a 74. 70, SC74. Package size comparisons. Ooh, this is kind of nice. Okay. Yeah, and by the way, once you get to these small packages, they have like eight names. SC75. Okay, so SC74. Oh, it's actually a little bit bigger than the SC70. Ooh. See, it's good why you, you should check. Actually, SC74 is the same as SOT23. You know, back it up. We gotta go back. Let's deselect that one. Okay. No. Okay, we're back. Um, so now we have a couple of options. All of these are TSOP5. And TSOP5, I'm like 99% sure is the same as SC70. But you know, maybe we should just look for something that's specifically SC70. Yeah, this one looks good. Let's see, what's the current output? How about this one? I think this is the one. Okay, SC70, definitely the right one. Uh, voltage supply looks good. Um, input level is totally fine. Output level high. Yeah, this, this is great because we're gonna use five volt power. Um, and then current drive is eight milliamps. So this is my pick. The SNHC 1G14. And that is the great search.